Hey, this is John with Halo Waypoint. We're here in San Diego, California for the 2010 San Diego Comic-Con. We're about to take you inside the convention center and give you a look at everything the show has to offer in regards to the Halo, Halo Reach. We've got uh, Firefly 2.0 on display at the Xbox booth. There's McFarlane toys. There's all kinds of new products, collectibles, and art prints here at the show related to Halo. So we're going to give you a look throughout the whole week. So stay tuned to Halo Waypoint, and uh, let's go have some fun. Hey, we're at the Square Enix booth at Comic-Con 2010. You guys want to introduce yourselves real quick? Hi, my name is Nick Gallagher. I work for Square Enix out of Japan, and uh, I'm a, one of the licensing managers for overseas properties such as Halo. I'm Patrick Lofstrom, uh, North American branch of Square Enix Merchandise. Uh, I basically help distribute these, distribute these to the stores. Square Enix has just announced they're uh, doing some Halo Reach action figures. It's kind of your first foray into Halo. You guys want to talk about maybe how that came about, and then we'll kind of delve into the making of the figures a little bit? Well, actually, uh, we started to expand our line uh, beyond our Final Fantasy figures, which are most popular uh, for our brand. Um, and we start looking at very popular uh, games such as Halo, and uh, we were interested in actually Master Chief at first. And uh, we, heard, we heard some of the early news about Halo Reach, and we thought, this is the thing we want to make. And uh, I'm a big fan of Halo. I've been playing it since, who knows, back in the day. And uh, this is uh, kind of a dream of mine to be able to work on this project. Very cool. What are your thoughts on bringing kind of Reach and Halo to the Square Onyx kind of catalog? I'm really excited since uh, I work for the North American branch. So, I mean, Halo is huge here, like explosive. So, like, nobody knows about this yet. Finally, we revealed it. So I'm really waiting for, like, user reactions of what they think. I mean, these are big, really high quality, painted really well. So <laughs> really excited for them. What's the fan reaction been so far? This is the first time anyone's seen these or even been aware that you're working on this product. So just in this first initial burst, what has that fan reaction been like? Well, actually, a lot of people are surprised to see uh, Halo Reach products in a Square Enix booth. Uh, but, you know, we, we actually are making video, uh, not just video games, but also uh, action figures. So uh, a lot of people are pretty excited. And uh, a lot of people coming, as you can see, taking pictures and uh, really enjoying it. And what is your first line of Halo figures kind of consist of? What characters have you chosen to kind of represent Reach for that first wave of action figures? Or actually high-end collectibles at this point? Uh, volume 1 has uh, Noble 6, uh, June, and Emil. And that's uh, coming out real soon, actually, fall 2010. And so sometime around game launch, people can expect to start seeing those pop up. And then are you going to follow those three up with anybody? Are we going to see all of Noble team out there at some point? Mm -hmm. we got the three more characters slated for early 2011, so they're coming out real soon, too. And can you tell us about the process? These are, I mean, they're highly articulated. They kind of got that action figure feel, but these are really high-end collectibles. I mean, these are showpieces people put on their shelves. These characters, actually, we received the 3D data from Microsoft themselves, and uh, using the 3D models, uh, we actually bore out the image of this to its exactness. Um, but if you think about it, it's an action figure, it has lots of parts. So um, in detail, we have our sculptors come in and uh, touch up everything and to make it into an action figure. Um, this has over 20 points of articulation, so it's a pretty tricky deal to make the actual parts that fit together. And if you can see, uh, we've got uh, both gray figures here, which are uh, work in progress, and some painted figures, which are sculpts. So the gray ones are more like the prototypes. You guys are still in the creation process there. And the painted ones are more further along, almost ready for production. Uh, these three painted figures have just been approved, and uh, they are pretty much finished. And now we have to work out the actual uh, figures themselves and the manufacturing line and the molds and all that. So, All right, any, any parting thoughts here on Halo, Halo Reach, and Comic-Con in general? We're happy to be here with these figures, and I'm looking forward to playing the game quite a bit myself. So. Thanks, guys.